John Packer Cornet review, I have alluded to the fact that I play on a Dennis Wick 2. Now, to some that may be insanity, but believe it or not, that is indeed what I play on. This is the, uh, I believe, the largest commercially available Cornet mouthpiece that Dennis Wick manufactures. It seems that they make larger ones for trumpets. I don't know why that is, but yes, the 2 is about equivalent to a Bach. Somewhere between a one and a quarter and a one and a half, I believe. Don't don't hesitate to correct me if I got that wrong. Uh, but yeah, it's quite a pig of a mouthpiece. It's got a huge rim. Of course, it's a you know one and a half. It's going to be quite large. It's marketed as a two. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Bach measuring scale because that's what I'm used to personally. Uh, and you know all the companies that copy Bach like Blessing or whatever. But uh, it's got a very very deep cup. Um, I can stick pretty much the entire first joint of my pointer finger in there, and that's that counts for something. So it's quite deep. It's a little more V-shaped than on a trumpet mouthpiece. It's pretty standard. Uh, the throat is ginormous, at least compared to what I've seen in the past. And yeah, it's just a really big mouthpiece that you can put a lot of air through. It's not an easy one to play. Don't get that mixed up. It's not easy to play, but it's very rewarding if you do it right. So, you know, as you heard in the intro clip, it's got a very, uh, very open, very rich sound. Uh, of course, a lot of that is due to the fact that I'm using a very nice John Packer cornet. However, that's far from the only part of the equation here. Uh, this is one way to achieve that sort of silky cornet tone. And I can say that because the mouthpiece provided with the cornet that I was using doesn't give you that sound at all. So, Dennis Wick 2 is uh, great for lyrical stuff. So, you know, I'll do some more playing for you guys. We'll test the highs and lows, and we'll go from there. <laughs> That's the biggest reason why I love this mouthpiece. It uses a huge portion of the chops, and that allows for basically better low notes. Um, there's no, there's not enough of a correlation between more high notes and a smaller mouthpiece to justify me using something like a five or a seven. But there is definitely a correlation with using something like a one and a half and low notes. So that's sort of my favorite thing about this mouthpiece. Uh, it's advertised as sounding like a medium bore tenor trombone. I think that's a bit of a lie, but it has a fat sound down there. I don't have a fat sound because of the embouchure change and I can't play low right now, so this is sort of my cheater mouthpiece for that. In fact, if we use something like a Blessing 3C, I mean, this is basically a trumpet mouthpiece on a cornet shank, really. It doesn't, it just doesn't sound as good. I understand it's a little hit or miss when I play it, but come on. It doesn't sound nearly as good down there as the Dennis Wick does. So that's my main reason for liking this mouthpiece so much. Now we can, I guess, test the high end. So on the high end, obviously, it's not going to be effortless. This isn't a lead mouthpiece, but for me personally, I don't have the ability to just plug a tiny tight cup mouthpiece into my instrument and play super high. I don't have that kind of ability. I can play about the same on all of my mouthpieces, so this isn't really a detriment for me. It's perfectly fine. I mean, with all this going on, that's as good as I can expect it to be. So, on the high end, it's totally fine. So you may be wondering, in terms of style, what sort of boxes does this check off? Well, obviously soloistic, flow study, uh, lyrical sort of stuff is great on this, particularly in the middle to low range. It's a very free, very open, it takes plenty of air, and it's just really nice for this sort of stuff. Uh, the vibrato is very free, but the pitch is fairly stable, and just, it's great for traditional stuff. Uh, obviously, brass band literature, you know, everybody in a brass band uses something like this. Uh, 
It's, it's, I hear it all the time. They say this is for the second and third uh, cornet parts of the ensemble. Not necessarily wrong, it is great for that, but I've heard of plenty of solo cornets using this mouthpiece for their brass band stuff. It'll work perfectly well in a concert band. What it won't work well in is a jazz big band when you're playing lead trumpet and you're up in the sky. And uh, I suppose that'll become rather self-explanatory after this next clip. No. No, that's really not a box that it can tick. It just doesn't work. It takes too much effort. With such a deep cup, you... Look, it won't kill you to play high. It will kill you to play bright while you're playing high. Uh, as I said, this is a very traditional mouthpiece. You don't hear a lot of screaming lead stuff in brass band music. It's usually much smoother, high stuff. It's often in the E-flat cornet part anyways. But if we were to play that with the 3C, much shallower cup, of course, you could definitely see some tonal changes, and I'm sure the volume control will adjust it so it's not that bad, but I'm probably going to deafen myself completely. It's infinitely easier on a shallower mouthpiece, so really just don't try and use the wick for playing a lead trumpet in a big band. I suppose you wouldn't even use a cornet for that anyways, but just giving you guys the warning in case you need I suppose you could make the argument that Playing a wick makes lead trumpet playing easier when you actually use a lead mouthpiece or at least something shallower than this uh, because obviously the bright sound just becomes second nature once you've worked your ass off to get it on this mouthpiece. Uh, obviously the problem with that is you still don't want to use this when playing that was the lead trumpet. Dennis Wick 2 cornet mouthpiece. It's cheaper than a lot of high-end mouthpieces. This was about... 55, 60 bucks. So, yeah. Uh, I took a bit of a gamble on this one. It doesn't work for everybody, but it works for me, and I'm happy.